Today I'm in the picturesque town of Victor Harbour in South Australia. Uh, I'm going to install one of our Gecko Prism broadband seismographs in an underground vault uh, where there are a couple of other uh, broadband sensors to compare it to. So let's head out there. Hi, I'm Paul Hutchinson and uh, I built this uh, seismic facility particularly for the purpose of having, having amateurs and uh, professionals work together to help the uh, science of seismology. This is the entrance to the Peters Seismological Observatory. It's called TPSO for short. I've named it after uh, Professor Peters in America. So is he still involved with the data at all? Oh yes, yep, yep. I, I will send him data and uh, he processes it when you go to thousands of seconds to try and work out, you know, whole earth movements. Uh, that's uh, you know, where we're specialising in or looking into and that's uh, an area that's not, not really uh, well looked after in the field of seismology at the moment. process of uh, building the actual vault itself, how did you go about it? Well, we got a 35 ton excavator to come and dig a hole in various places in the paddock. It took us several days digging holes to find the, uh, the bedrock we were looking for. It took us a day and a half with this big jackhammer to break the rock down to get it level so we could build the pier on top. Most of what you can see has been prefabricated in Adelaide and brought here. And the biggest piece was uh, 15 tonne, and that's, that's the concrete culvert sitting over the uh, solid rock. It's obviously resting on solid rock, it hasn't moved, or well, we don't think it has. But the um, tunnel, uh, that's completely separate, it's resting on its own um, base, and that's sunk probably uh, 80 millimetres, maybe 90 millimetres in the last year and a half. So what uh, instrumentation do we have in the vault at the end? Uh, we have an ancient Spregnetha from the uh, worldwide uh, standardised seismic network. That's about 60 years old. It's a passive instrument. We have a Gurup, um, it's a short period. We have a Prism, we have a Trillium, and we have a um, STS-2. So we've got uh, three broad bands, one short period and uh, a very old one. We have a, um, a Lipman tilt meter. Uh, that measures uh, right down to uh, earth tides and way below even that. And we've got uh, two Vox meters, which are uh, displacement instruments, uh, and they, they can measure earth tides, and we see those quite re they're quite pronounced on our traces. So that's uh, the instruments we have on the pier. Cables come to here, they come into these, uh, in this case the Echo Pros, they're processed, stored, and the data is then sent via the modem through the aerial, and the aerials are up on top of the ground. We're underground here at the moment, of course. Uh, set off via uh, 4G um, through the system. 